Good afternoon, it's Christian Thwaites, Chief Strategist for Brown Janikowski, talking to you on Friday, November the 20th, one week on from the terrible bombings in Paris from uh, Islamic states. Uh, our thoughts and our prayers go out to the victims and the families involved. Last week, three things caught our attention. Firstly, we saw the minutes from the three major central banks that affect uh, capital markets around the world, the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, and the Bank of Japan. Now, each one of their minutes from their October meetings just underline what an uncertain world we're living in. Economic growth is extremely fragile in the US, and while rates may rise in December, it's by no means certain, and the Fed is certainly continuing to look at underlying growth and employment. The news, however, in Europe uh, and Japan is very, very slow and sluggish growth in Europe and actually negative growth in Japan. Uh, and both banks look like they will continue to uh, have very loose monetary policies for some time to come. Uh, interestingly, also, we saw this week that negative rates, negative uh, long term rates in the five year market for, for Germany and almost for Japan uh, continue to be in place. And for that, for us, you know, for, for governments to be able to borrow at negative rates for that long period does not signify strong economic growth. The stock market um, this, this week continued to have a, a, a very little direction. The underlying story is that industrials are doing generally poorly because of the strong dollar, the downturn in long-term economic global growth. Um, but the service sector and the consumer sector seem to do quite well. Here's a chart showing the ISM services sector and the ISM industrial sector. The service sector is far more important to U.S. Uh, employment. That's had a nice uptick recently, and that's been nice to see in the S&P. However, there are some risks as we go forward between now and the end of the year. Certainly what's happening in emerging markets, the rate increase and the strength of the dollar are all things we continue to keep our eye on. So we, don't, we do expect some challenging times between now and the next four or five weeks in the market. Next week will be Thanksgiving. I'd like to wish everybody and our clients a happy Thanksgiving and we'll touch base here in about a week or two.